Hi guys, it's Nick from That Student Life Australia and today we're going to be adding to our little series that we've got going, uh, Study Smarter Not Harder, and this one's going to be all about biology. So biology as a subject is a pretty tricky sort of science. It's not as challenging and demanding as something like physics and chemistry might be, uh, but you do have to retain an awful lot more information in it uh, and that's why it's important that you do the correct study before you go into a biology exam. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys sort of what I do to prepare for a biology test. Okay, so if you haven't already got uh, sort of a set of folders uh, that have all your individual subjects, um, you should definitely jump on that. Uh, so that's all my subjects there. You can see mass, whoop, if I can actually be coordinated, it's definitely the biggest. Uh, but have a look at the biology one, and I've already got some of the stuff that's usually out inside the biology. Um, now, being a science, they can ask you about, you know, all your practice and everything that you do through the year, as well as the information they teach you. So I have the information in this front part here, and I have all the practice at this back part here. So they're all separated, and I know what I need to study. What's usually in the front is my summaries. Alright, so schools can uh, teach the biology course in a few different ways by doing different topics at different times. Uh, in the case of our school, we did maintaining a balance, followed by a search for better health. And uh, these are my two summaries that I've got here, and they're all built straight off the syllabus dot points. Uh, so I write, um, you probably can't see it from here, but I write the syllabus dot point in red, and I have the appropriate information below, and that's how I go through and study. Um, if you want to do really well in biology, you should start studying very well in advance because there is a lot of information to retain. Um, I write all my summaries out because it helps me uh, memorise it probably a little bit better than if I was typing it um, because I suppose it takes a little bit more time and you have to think about it for a little bit longer. Uh, and once I finished these, I was about two weeks out from tests. So then I started making a bunch of flashcards, which I'll go show you in a second. Okay, so this is a, a big old pile of flashcards, and um, basically writing them actually helped me to retain a lot more information, um, and yeah, just I put them in my bag every day before school, tucked them in the front pocket, and if ever I had a spare chance uh, to have a bit of a look through, uh, that's what I'd do. Uh, also over here is what's usually sitting inside this folder, is uh, these pracs, or a list of pracs. So basically... I summarised each prac on a page, all the important ones that I thought we were going to get asked on that had relevant information like the aim, the method, uh, variables, risk assessment, and most importantly, uh, the conclusion. Um, but yeah, that's those are all, all what I deem to be the important pracs uh, beforehand, and um, that's what I summarised. Another really important thing uh, when preparing for a biology exam, apart from doing your summaries, apart from learning what's in them, and apart from doing flashcards, is to do past papers. Now right here I've got what was our 2013 past paper that our school made, uh, and I hassled every teacher for past papers. I had the 2009, 2010 one, pretty much anything that they were gonna give me, I was gonna do. Uh, a lot of them didn't have answers, uh, only one or two did, but even if they don't have answers, just practice answering the questions, whether they don't, uh, you can't actually check whether you're right or not, uh, you can sort of confer with your summary whether you've got the relevant information. Um, you've just got to practice answering the verb and, um, yeah, applying the information correctly. Because a lot of the time you can sort of get a test back and you could have answered the question right, but because you didn't address the verb to the best of your ability, uh, you're not going to get the full marks. Now, if you still felt a little bit unprepared for a biology test, uh, particularly the HSC, uh, go pick yourself up one of these, and that's uh, those Cambridge Checkpoints books. And uh, basically, they've just got a bunch of questions uh, relating to the different topics that are in, uh, in biology uh, and in a range of other subjects, like I'll just reach here. I've got uh, the chemistry one as well, and they're both pretty similar. Uh, questions just arranged in different topics. Uh, and basically, similar to the past papers, that's just going to help you answer the questions, uh, retain a little bit more information. 
All right, and uh, basically for biology, that's it. Uh, there's not much more you can do. It's just more uh, a memory game, uh, if, if anything else. If you've done, done your summaries off the dot points, uh, you know how to answer a lot of different questions that they're going to throw at you. Uh, you've done flashcards and summarized all your pracs. There's really not much else you can do um, other than just go back through everything uh, and try and remember it. Uh, like I said, if you're having trouble answering the questions but you do know the information, best bet is to get your hands on some past papers of some teachers uh, because they're laying around somewhere, they've got them in abundance. And uh, if you're really still unsure, you get some of those uh, checkbook, uh, check, uh, checkpoint books. And uh, there's a range of different ones out there. So uh, Excel, do a bunch, that's a brand. Uh, I'll just go to the Cambridge ones because they're a nice small fit in my bag uh, and I like the layout just a little bit better. But uh, other than that, uh, that's what I recommend that you would do um, when preparing for a biology test. All right, guys, this is Nick from That Student Life Australia. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And uh, we'll definitely be adding to this playlist, uh, Study Smarter, Not Harder, very shortly. Thanks, guys.